Hello, my name is Michael. Today I want to do a brief demonstration of the CB Network Test Tool. This binary is available on all Simpana components. It's installed by default. Support will occasionally ask you to run this and this demonstration is to show you how this can be done. We would normally run this to determine the network throughput between components, whether it be client and media agent or media agent to media agent. This demonstration here will show from client to media agent. My comm serve is also my media agent in this case because it's a small little test lab. So we will put the uh, comm serve slash ME into a server mode using the tool. And then we're going to run the subsequent uh, command line against the client and this will connect to the CV network test tool um, server mode and send some data. Uh, this test I'm about to do now is only going to send about 6 gig of data because we're using a buffer count of uh, 100,000 with a byte size of uh, 65,536. As you can see on screen I've already set the commands up ready to go. On the left, we have the command tool prompt, which is uh, being ran directly from our comserve slash media agent. As you can see, we run the CV network test tool, invoke the server switch, uh, pass the log switch to point to a log. And I am um, going to send that to a server 61 log on the C drive. The server port 8800 is the listening port in which the client's going to connect to. We could run this and actually make it listen on the same ports that Simpana would be using, like 8400, but the problem with that would be that we wouldn't be able to have the media agent and any other services running at the time. And it's also going to cause um, some problems in the sense of if we did do that, we might have clients trying to communicate to the MA on that port, and the first component that connects to that port will invoke the test to start, so typically you wouldn't really want to use the 8400 port. So we should just pick another port that's available and open. Because if your network is firewalled, obviously the port that you pick here would have to be, as I said, an open port. So my test lab here has no firewall. So I'm just going to use a server port of 8800. And then we're going to invoke the client from the other side with the appropriate uh, command line. And as you can see, I'm invoking it with a client switch. Once again, a log switch as shown over here. And then we pass the server host IP, which is the IP address of the, the component that's running the, the server. So in this case, mine's 75.20. We give it the server port, which was 8800. I'm using IPv4 for both tests. On the client side, I'm setting the, the buffer size client to server. I'm setting the buffer size server to client, and I'm setting a buffer count and port server and port client to run the test over. So those ports would also need to be available as well. As you can see, I'm passing an instance of instance 001 because uh, Simpana is installed on both these components in this instance. If I didn't pass this switch, it would default to instance 001 per the documentation. So, as I said, this test is going to send about 6 gig of data. If we wanted to send, say, um, increase this obviously by 10 times, then I could change the buffer count from 100,000 to 1 million, and this would push about 61 gig of data yeah, instead, which is a, a definitely a good test. But, um, yeah, you might have certain certain situations where you want to send a lot of data, so you should adjust the, you know, either the the buffer size client to server, or increase the buffers to accommodate it. So in this case, I would just probably keep the um, buffer size to a certain size, and then just just increase my buffer count to account for the extra data that I want to send. So let's uh, run through this right now. So first, I got to bring up the the server side and as you can see that it's successfully bound so it's now listening on uh, all adapters on port 8800 
and then if I go to the client side and invoke it, it'll immediately uh, start to do what it needs to do, which is to uh, send the data. You can see in the far right, I've actually got the network uh, dialog open, so we can see the traffic, and you'll start to see that increase. You'll note that uh, I've sent and received quite a lot of data because I've been running a couple of tests. In fact, I actually ran a 61 gig test a couple minutes ago off camera. So let's uh, get this completed and we'll just watch it. As I said, we're only doing a, about a 6 gig test. As you can see, the test is now completed. We've sent about 6 gig of data, as noted by the uh, received metrics on the uh, local area connection status on the right. Now, um, if supported asked you to run this, they would be requesting that you uh, provide the, the uh, log file from each side. So in this case, per the client, I passed this switch here as highlighted. So I would have to collect the client61.log uh, as named. And in addition, on the server side, we would have to provide the server side log that we indicated, which I'll uh, show by marking it uh, from there to um, here. Sorry about the word wrap, but so you would collect these two files and provide those to support. If you wanted to have a quick look at what they uh, they actually say. We can uh, open them up right now and have a look. So on the right, I'll show you the client one. And as you can see, the test has passed, but um, the key information we're trying to get here is the calcula calculated network throughput. Like I said, if you increase the, uh, the, the count, we could uh, get it to send more data. So if I increased it to a, a 1 million count, as I said, from 100,000, we would send uh, 10 times the data that we just did. So we would uh, send 60 gig of data. I would expect the metrics to be pretty much the same, give or take a couple megasecond, but it, it shouldn't vary too much. Um, so from the client, uh, that's the client side. From the service side, I'll just open up Notepad to open up the log. And it should look, look very similar to the client side one, as you can see. So we get a higher network throughput on this side. So either way, this looks very good at the moment. So not a problem. I wasn't uh, going to show an issue here, but I just wanted to show you how to run the commands. Both these tools are, as I said, installed in the default installation of Simpana on any component, and it's in the base folder on each uh, platform or on any of those platforms. I hope you find some value from this uh, information. I know some people like to see things visually versus reading them in documentation. Once again, I hope you enjoyed it.